my name is Jamie Rue and I bought a whole bunch of books for July. Okay, so I bought a whole bunch of books and I have more books coming, but I'm just gonna film this now because I'm really impatient. I'm also gonna mention what books are on the way, but mostly I have the books that I bought. So first I have Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss, and I've read this book already and I need to read the second and third books, but I figured I should get the first book because I was doing this thing where I got the first book in a whole bunch of different series just because I felt like it. It's really, really good. It's about an assassin who was captured, then she's competing to be a hired assassin for the king in a world where magic has gone. Oh, it's amazing. It's so good. I explained that horribly. That was kind of a really, really bad summary. I'm gonna film a review on this at some point, but I don't know when. Next, I have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, and I have wanted to read this book for a while because I heard John Green talking about it on Vlogbrothers a while back. I really, really wanted to read this book, but my problem is that there are scary pictures in it. Well, not scary, but like creepy pictures in it. I am not the best with anything creepy or scary. It freaks me out a lot, and I'm just not a fan. I am going to be reading this during the day, never during the night. Like, I'm so, like, I'm so scared about anything with pictures. Like, as, if you're gonna read this book, I just need you to know that there are creepy pictures in this book. I might actually ask a friend of mine to go through and, like, tape paper onto the pages with pictures, because I can't. It gives me a lot of anxiety, but I've been hearing so many good things about it. And, uh, okay. It takes place on an island. I'm not actually sure what it's about. Not totally looking forward to reading this because I think I might have a panic attack while I read it, but let's see what happens. Next, I have The Selection by Kira Cass, and I think this book is about some, like, reality show type thing where a whole bunch of girls, like, compete to be the bride of a prince or something like that. I'm not actually totally sure what it's about, but I've heard a lot of good things about it and I know a whole bunch of people at my school and on YouTube are like really big fans of the selection. Also, can we talk about how pretty the spines of these books are? I'm looking forward to it. Next, I have Shatter Me and I have no idea how to pronounce this author's name. I actually have no idea what this book is about. I haven't actually read the, the, the thing on the back. I just know that the cover is really pretty. That's it. Like, I, I've heard nothing else about this book. I have no idea what it's about. Maybe if I knew what it was about, I would be more inclined to pick it up because I did borrow this book from the library, I just didn't read it. Next I have Prodigy by Marie Lu and this is just the second book in the Legend series, which I love. The Legend trilogy is like, uh, this book, when I read it, funny story, I threw it at my bed because I was just mad. Like, I could not believe this book. I threw it. I legitimately like hurled it at my bed and then it ricocheted and it kind of dented the library book a little bit. Shh. But I fixed it. It was only a little corner of it and then I fixed it. And it was fine. Everything's fine. This series is amazing and infuriating and I love it. It's just these are all the emotions that you want from a series without like, uh, oh, it's so good. I have to warn you though that when day is speaking, the words are freaking blue, and I think in the last one they're red, and in the first one they're yellow, and I don't understand why this happens. I don't know why you decided to change the color of the font. I'm just not a fan of this, like, blue piercing into my soul because it's, it's, it gives me a headache. Be warned. And finally, I have the entire Lord of the Rings series by J.R.R. Tolkien. So this started when CGP Grey released his video about the Lord of the Rings in like December and that I wanted to read it and that I didn't want to buy them but then the library books are kind of disgusting because these are kind of old books. So then I just put it off and I was like, oh, I'll read them some other time. But then I found out that Mary Kate Wiles really likes The Lord of the Rings. And then CGP Grey released another Lord of the Rings video. And then I just bit the bullet and bought this. I hated the movies when I was younger because I watched them when they came out and I was like five and they scared me to death. Like Gollum was the scariest thing on the planet. I'm 
looking forward to these. I hope they're as good as people say they are. People rave about Lord of the Rings. Hope I like them. I spent like a whole bunch of money on them. You know they don't sell the box set on Amazon? Amazon, what are you doing? I, I thought you were like the people that sell the cheap stuff, but no, like it's cheaper to buy them on Barnes and Noble than it is to buy each of the individual books on Amazon. Step it up, Amazon. What are you doing? Sell the box set, man. What? Oh my god, okay. Okay, no, on books that I don't actually have yet. So the book outlet sells really cheap books all the time and they were having a $5 off sale. So I got The Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick, which I have watched the movie and I liked the movie, but I heard the book was different. So I tried to buy it like last year at some point, but then I wanted a different book. So I just, so this is what I'm getting. And then I also got Zero Hour by Will Hill. Um, he wrote the Department 19 series. This is the last, no, this is the fourth book in the series. I don't know if it's the last book. I haven't actually read all of these books yet. I read Department 19 and I really liked it, but one, this was on sale, two, it was paperback, and three, it was cheap, so I just bought the last one. Now I have to buy the first three. This is like what happened with the Mortal Instruments series all over again, where it's like I have the first book and the last book and I don't have any of the others. I don't even have the first book in this series. And finally, a book that I am really looking forward to because everyone is talking about it lately. I've just been hearing about it left and right and so I was like, fine, I'll buy it. I got The Martian by Andy Weir. I don't really know what this book is about. I know that they're making a movie out of it and it's coming out soon and a lot of people are excited about it because someone with the name of Seb is playing a character in it. I know that it's about Mars, I'm assuming, because Martian, but that's it. I just know that a lot of people really, really like this book, and so I thought, you know what, if this many people like it, it has to be good. I'm looking forward to this one. I think I'm making a review about it if I feel strongly enough about it. So those are all the books that I bought in July. Those are all the books that I'm planning to buy throughout July. Now I have a whole bunch of books to put away. If you want to know my thoughts on any of the books that I mentioned today, then please leave what book you would like me to make a review on in comments down below, and I'll do my best to make that review. Also, tell me what books you think I should read in the future in comments down below. Bye!